Hi everybody, this is another episode of Unicast and today I'm going to show you how you can turn uh, Ubiquiti Edge Router X into a smart switch with layer 3 capabilities and central management. The central management is being done with Ansible. I wrote an Ansible collection myself and it's capable of handling most of the basic stuff, meaning system configuration, NTP, firewall, network interfaces, wire for, uh, wireless interfaces, and some, some RESTIC backup stuff and uh, things like that. Packages, of course. And this comes in quite handy when you happen to have more than one or two OpenWRT devices. So you can, for example, define backup configuration once and use it for all your devices. So we're going to log in into this freshly installed Ubiquiti. And what we need to do in order to run Ansible on it is firstly remove all the stuff we don't need. All right, and next we're going to devices and we need to remove some of the ports. Good thing I double checked it because my uplink port is ETH zero, zero and my local connected port is ETH one. So I need to keep it connected so I don't cut out myself. And now we're going to create a new bridge. Bridge. And now we are going to Currently, on, we only need ETH zero because this is going to be my uplink port to my uplink switch. And now we are, wait a second. It's set to tagged. We need to have my VLAN ID on it. Tagged, all right. And now we have to uh, it's management interface, set it to static, and now we choose this VLAN on the bridge, paste the IP address, slash 26 is 255.255.255.192. Also get the IPv6 address. This one we can put into uh, a CIDR notation, and we need gateways because there is a switch, uh, there's a router in between. Okay, so we're going to keep the LAN interface just to make sure I can connect to the device locally. But the moment I apply the settings, I should be able to address the device also via its designated IP. Let's check. Yeah, it's working. So what we also need to do in order to run Ansible is, of course, a network configuration, a basic one. Then we would need um, my SSH keys. What else? Yeah, and as I said earlier, we need Python. That's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to install Python 3. This will take a moment. I made a little cut here because this took some time. And what I also need is my SSH key. Administration, SSH keys. Okay, now I've got my SSH key, I've got Python installed and I've got my network configuration straight. So let's head over to my Ansible host. Okay, let's have a look at my host configuration file, meaning the host vars and the host names ERX for Edge Router X. And I already configured my, my VAS, meaning I've set some basic configuration parameters for the system, uh, system name and stuff. No notes, um, it's inheriting from some groups. I also defined NTP variables. But the important stuff is here. OpenWT network devices that corresponds to these devices and I have five interface ports and I would like to define one bridge. The bridge consists of all the ports because I would like to act this device as a smart switch. 
And as I'm using VLAN filtering, I'm connecting all of the available devices to the main bridge. And what comes next is the configuration part for all the VLAN interfaces I would like to use. As you can see, there are plenty of VLANs I'm going to use here at my device. And as you also might have seen already, ETH0 is the uplink port. This is a VLAN trunk, meaning there are plenty of VLANs being transferred over the wire. And that's why I chose this port to set to tagged. There are also ports, for example, ETH2 is untagged onto the secure VLAN, uh, insecure, I'm sorry. And I think there is also no, is there another one? Yeah, that's, no, not yet. Only this one. So this is just some very basic configuration. This is something I can do later. And here comes the network base configuration. I have only one interface that actually gets an IP address. I have lots of VLANs and I would be able to put an IP address onto every single one of them, but I don't want it to. The switch itself should only be reachable from my management internal network for which I have firewall rules. And that's why I only choose to define one interface. It's called management and this is the device, it the device it connects to. I will show you the corresponding configuration as you can see here. Protostatic, IP addresses, gateways and DNS name servers. And I only would like to have one main firewall zone, which is non-restrictive because, well, there's a dedicated firewall in front of it. I could set it to a more restricted setting, for example, just accept uh, IP addresses from my internal network. But for the moment, that's all. And now here's my, my OpenWRT site, um, which includes a couple of different playbooks. It's not it's quite important that the playbooks are being rolled out in a specific order, not very specific, but at least, I mean, there has to be some network configuration that that actually works in order to be able to uh, install some other packages, which I I'm going to do. But let's just run the playbook. Just on this device. And this will take some more time. Okay, back at my unicast and I think this is basically done. The system configuration has been roll out, rolled out. I am going to have a look. This is being marked for deletion. The management interface is there. Firewall configuration is there. Non-restrictive, as I said. Wild well, tools are very important for a switch. <laughs> and of course, the main system configuration. I did also install some, some additional packages. That's what my Ansible collection does. It's quite powerful already and I'm constantly expanding its capabilities. So if you have a very specific case, for example, I'm trying to um, add ACME, meaning let's encrypt uh, capabilities to it. But if you have something you would like me to look after, for example, a specific package you would like to have uh, deployed Ansible configuration for, just leave a comment in the comment section below. And yeah, I would like to say goodbye to you all. And if you liked it, I would be happy to pull me the finger <laughs> and the right finger, of course, and ring the bell if you don't want to miss any more of this very great videos of mine. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.